Herself, Cindy. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. just like this. Hey. I hope you guys are ready for this one. Nobody, ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely the king herself.
a musician you get to be a fan i don't yeah. even know what i'm doing myself right now <laughs> thank you cindy thank you so much for honoring us with the invite I'm come and so jam happy out to with be us here. you know um because we get to celebrate yeah you know Music. 15 years you know of, a, of an incredible career that's in, heavy right in the ug and it's heavy <laughs> no successfully like consistently like no like i'm on break yeah. And what, like, you know, consistently with the level of excellence, the performance, then mm -hmm. the boom party concert, you know, Thank the celebration you. concert, that yeah. epic, you know, I mean, I feel like, you know, that was honored, you know, by God. And as in no, with God, that, God is amazing. I need to say something about that. Please do, please do. Just walk us through. Before the concert happened, well, okay, when I announced that I'm doing the boom party concert, people were like, who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like everybody said, Akaka for Kabasaja, you know, it's a man's mm. place. You don't, as a female, who do you think you are mm. to, you know, even believe in that? You know, right. when I got the idea, I felt like God was telling me something. You right. know, every time you say that, people feel like you're trying to sound like a Christian or you're trying to, but it's real. When you yeah. feel it, you feel it. Yeah. So when I felt it, I said it, you know, and then yeah. after two weeks, three weeks, and there were no sponsors coming in, and everybody was like, okay, maybe it was just my excitement. Yeah, right, I can imagine. So everything was late. My sponsors came in two months late. My mm. adverts came in a week to the concert. Yeah. Everything didn't work out right. Mm. But I know why, because when God does something, he wants you to know it's him. Yeah. in every way, you mm, know, so that you yeah. can't fall back on anything else. You can only say that right there was God, yeah. you know. So when people ask me at my interviews, they're like, so what are you, where's Zechi? You know, what are you depending on? I was like, mm. that's it. I kept saying that at interviews and people thought I was being an idiot, but the truth is, yeah. In the night when I was like by myself, yeah. I would cry out to God and say, but I just did the most stupid thing. Yeah. You know, just help me. These people are not mine. They are yours. Yeah. You know, they all belong to you. So bring me your people because mm. mine, I don't know if they can fill up that place, you know. Wow. But I know that yours can. And I kept yeah. saying that when I prayed, when I fasted, yeah. I kept saying that. I'm like, bring your people to my concert. I want this to work out. Work yeah. out for women, for all this. I had no backup to believe in. My yeah. last two concerts were not successful. Mm. You know, I didn't have even quarter aware of this audience that I'd got. And people kept saying, yeah. because she lost at this yeah. other concert. Even here, she lost. Right. And how do you go to a bigger venue like that? But, yeah. but you know, I have to say, when God, when he puts something, you know, when yeah. he wants to show off, he wants to show off. When he off. wants and to show off. Yeah. Yes. And, and I believe that the Bomb Party concert was, was just God showing off. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's... So... That's, man, that's, <laughs> I mean, really. So, like, in this industry, especially, yeah. like, something you've touched on, you know, like, yeah. this industry is not one that encourages. Mm -mm. This industry, the truth is, the yeah. se okay, I don't know about the gospel industry, but the secular industry is built to destroy you. Yeah. That is the way it's built. Yeah, and I feel especially for women, like... Yes, it, it, absolutely. It, From the first producer you meet to everybody, everybody's yeah. built to destroy you, to put you down. So, so it's a constant, consistent, like for it's a constant years. struggle. That's why I say if you don't have it, if God didn't put it inside of you, mm. don't join the entertainment industry. Mm. Don't. You're going to lose all your values. You're going to sell your soul yeah. for entertainment, you know. But yeah. if God put it inside of you, he also put, gives you the energy. Yes. He also gives you all these things to do it. So I, I, tell, I tell people, if God gave you the gift of singing, you will sing. You can sing. Yes. There's no way God gave you the gift to go and be entertained and you can't sing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's there. Yeah. So 
that for basics you have to have it and then yeah. get into the industry. Yeah. When I started out, I tell people I had four million shillings in my account when I was fired from Blue 3. Mm. That was not enough to do anything, uh. nothing at all. But what I had was passion. Yeah. I believed inside of me, this came from somewhere. Yes. You know, I didn't just dream as a girl in ballet in a choir. Mm. You know, mm. I didn't just stupidly decide. It yeah. must have started from somewhere. Yeah. So I believed and just, just started. My first video, the girl was like, you know, I'm paying to Alo Chinana. You know, and he was, at that time, he was charging 1.5, 2.5. Mm, yeah. But he looked at me and he's like, you know what? When you always am to Alo Chinana, we can work yeah, around can it. figure something out. Yes, yeah. like yeah. such things kept on happening mm. until I got to our church, and that was my first breakthrough. Yeah, man. And then we kept going. Yeah. So just to answer your question, yeah. I feel if God put it inside of you, yeah. He will give you the providence, you know? He will give you the to reason to dream, to keep on going, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then it also helps that I'm very scared of being broke. <laughs> yeah, that will that will definitely, you know, motivation is a beautiful Poverty thing. Poverty is the biggest experience. <laughs> ah, let's do another song and come back to these wonderful insights on how to survive in this music industry, man. Uh, this next song is uh, it's, it's going to be fun because uh, no one's ever heard it before. It's never yeah. been done anywhere. It's never been recorded anywhere. Mm -mm. So. We're gonna have some fun right now. For Blue. one time and one time okay, only. Okay, yourself one time only. And unless, unless the fans do something and yeah. help us out and see, we see, we'll see how you guys feel about you this. You let us player. know. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. New flow, King new vibe, vibe. and real young. Bro. Hey. <laughs> vibe with me. Na, 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 na. Feels so beautiful. In case you didn't know it's Together, I could be the one you trust. You could be the one I treasure. Loyalty is a must. Disrespect is a never any time I mess up. I fess up and you better be more patient and forgiving. Grown enough to care and listen. You let me be the king. You trust my God as a vision. With others, it was a flame. But with you, I'm back to make me why I said. You and I, we can make a thing work full time. I believe it. You and I, we can make a song for it. And by, come and tell me, bend and look. Jacko better obey me one day Cause I know you break it down slow Woo! You don't have to complain, don't have to contain Can nobody know, nobody move Can nobody do it, baby, like you Now you know the deal, just you and me You know what the best thing is just like me is Bring a thing original, kids, we not cheesy. Eh. My mama says it not easy. Tell it to the jungle, my sister be easy. African beauty not floozy. Bring a thing original, kids, we not cheesy. Eh. No. My mama said it not easy. Tell it to the jungle, my sister be easy. You should know you're the one that I belong to. Yeah. When I'm gone, know you who I'm coming home to. Yeah. Don't ever let the fame and the glamour disarm you. Oh, no. I got you. I never do nothing to harm you. Cause this is us, the foundation is trust. No mm. issue was big enough for us not to discuss. This is who become one. So whatever comes up, what got it above the such? Can nobody disrupt Can nobody my... love, nobody move. No. Can nobody do it, baby, like you. Nobody. And you know the deal, you know it's real. You know where the best friend be you and me is. We can do this
never before. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. Vibe for Kiriya. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> um, talking about... Um, you gave, I feel like you gave an example of this, mm-hmm. so I'm going to put you on the spot because okay. there are these moments in everyone's life, but I say we can't even talk about career. Mm-hmm. These moments that are like defining moments, yes. right? So I want to see if I'm going to ask you to give us three career mm-hmm. defining moments for you, turning points in your career. Okay. And uh, if there's anything you learned from them, what did you learn from them? But the first one was being fired. You know, I never, mm. ever thought it was possible to fire me from Blue 3 Mm. because we had paperwork, we had so many things to deal with at that moment, like you couldn't just wake up and fire me, you know, technically speaking. But it happened, you know, (laughs) you know, like... Yeah, (laughs) yeah, so it taught me that there's nothing permanent in this world. You Mm. can have people that you trust, you love, whatever it is, like give everything to something and yeah. actually lose it and yeah. sometimes it doesn't have to make sense mm. and I think it's just God who decides all life I don't know something in between there so it taught me that nothing is permanent so when it's there mm. handle it with a hundred percent because you don't know yeah. what's going to happen so that was the first defining moment for me it was like all of a sudden all my dreams were just Shattered, you know, we're just yeah. two, done two years, you know, the amazing two years. Yeah, we got nominated for Cora, you <laughs> yeah, know, it was yeah. really crazy. And then suddenly they just let it go like that. Mm. And then the other thing has to be Ayocha Ayocha. Mm. It was a whole new style for me. Yeah. I think most people will not understand I came from gospel music, from being a choir leader, leading at my church right. in Bali called Living Water Ministries. Mm. And I was like a worship leader there for the youth yeah. to Blue Three. I was so confused. I thought what I was doing was evil. And, you know, like I had all that, like, what am I doing? I feel you, I feel you. you know, like suddenly, in, in I, I was so innocent at that time. I hadn't dated yet. Like mm. none of that. I was yeah. just from this world to this world where we're performing in clubs and getting approached by all these boys. Like everything was different at that time. Mm. So I struggled so much with that. Yeah. By the time I got to IHH, I had grown up a little bit, you know. Right. I'd never thought about dance hall until mm. I did IHH and suddenly it was a hit in three hours and, and literally three hours yeah. like we got it out of the studio took it to uh, to the was it Gaza Land was where like they do cities and stuff yeah. in three hours the whole country had it as in people were calling from wow. Gulu and like everywhere wow. like can I get a song can I get a song so that was like okay, wow, like this is the direction I'm supposed to take. I didn't know, you Mm. know, at that time I was like, okay, this is the direction. So that defined me, it defined, I started a brand that had never been there. Mm. How I dressed, how I approached interviews, like everything became different. You remember that time what was working out was the likes of Juliana, those people who acted different, they were gracious, they were more womanly. And here I come, (laughs) you know, you know, I was, totally different. I was yeah. a rebel. I dressed different. Everything was different for yeah. me. I just started that brand, even if at that time it seemed like it would never sell. There's so many shows I went to and they're like, ah, you know, like, what is this? But I believe that I wanted to start something new. I've never been the type to blend in. So I wanted something different. So that's how I started doing Ayocha Ayocha. And the first time that they did the awards, I had two biggest songs of the year, and I didn't get an award for it. <laughs> That's the first time I said to calm myself down, yeah. like <laughs> Kakana. Yes, right. like yeah, you I can understand. do and yeah. do and do and do, yeah. and nobody will appreciate you. Exactly. So I started to realize you need to decide what is success for you. Mm. Not let people decide for you. Yeah. Because that had been an amazing year for me. Exactly. Like nobody could touch it. Exactly. I could, you know, like, yeah. yeah, the money can tell, you know? Yeah. <laughs> my checks can tell like yeah. you can't you Results. you know I can't go back and say yeah. maybe it's just me yeah, exactly. no like yeah. everybody can see it yeah. but this particular table of 10 people 15 I said yeah. no you're not there yeah. yet exactly. so at that time I started realizing you need to define for yourself what mm. is success don't yes. let people define it for you mm. so so many years passed by I won my first award for best female artist I think of 
three years after that with the Buzz, yeah. Buzz Tini's Awards. And, you know, it was awesome. Yeah. Nenga Amaro Gampe Demo because yeah, I had expected it three years yeah, before. Exactly. So I talked about, of course, being fired, then Ayocha Ayocha, then, the, then the Boom Party yeah, concert. Yeah, boom. Can't deny ah, that. In course. the middle there, of course, there was the Freema Award, yeah, you know. Was, yeah. So I, I, like I told you, all the awards that I felt like I should have gotten in Uganda, I didn't mm, get. Yeah. Then suddenly I have an award from Nigeria for Best Female Artist East Africa, yeah. where you have nominations from Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. That's and proud. the years before, That's there'd huge. been Amani and Vanessa Mde mm. winning it. So that showed me that my success is, yeah. is different. Really. That same year, I won an award for Best Ugandan Artist in Kenya. Yeah. At the Bingwa Awards, the next year I won, uh, I, I didn't win, I was nominated for Best Actress in my yeah. movie. So basically, I, I decide, yeah. you decide what is success for you. That's and don't let people define it. So I think Boom Party was that other, you know, that other defining moment for me. Yeah, yes. no, Boom Party was crazy. It so, was crazy. So with, the, with everything you've said, right, mm. which is so, as in, because if you take away the things that people use, you know, male, female, whatever, you, you started mm. something new in the industry I and did, you solidified yes. it and you made it successful and yes. you made it work, right? Mm. So you've inspired so many people, male, female, whatever, like so many people look up to you, right? Mm. So there's this thing of knowing that these people, these people who try to act like they determine what success is, those mm. ones I can deal with. Mm. And then there's all these people that look up to you and over the time that you have been in the industry, mm. how do you deal with the pressure of that, of the fans, of the, the responsibility fans. of trying not to screw up, like trying not to think about like, or just maintaining yeah, this whole um, time. How to deal with that is basically not to deal with it. Mm. Because everybody has a different perspective of you. Yes. You know, there's no 10 people who think the same about you. Uh, I think that comes with even, I grew up in a big family, we are eight children, yeah. but we are all really different people. Mm. We grew up under the same mother, you know what I mean? We yeah. ate the same food and everything, but sometimes I look at my brothers and be like, go wakuridawa, you know? Yes. Because we're different. So the only way to deal with pressure from audiences is don't deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Show who you are. Like, yes. be the nicest of the person you are. Yeah. You know, not like, you know, be an idiot because right. you feel that way. Yeah. You know, but be the best version of you. And, and whoever takes it, how they take it, let them. Yeah. In the beginning, I was, of course, scared. I wanted everyone to be happy with me. Of you know, I, wa I didn't want anybody to say anything about me. I'll yeah. get stressed out and cry about it and yeah. not sleep at night. But after some time, I was like, even this person that you like, you didn't create. Mm, you know? True. That was still me. You yeah. know, when you loved me and when you hated me, that was still me. Was so still me. either I'm not in control, even if I try. Yeah. You can't go to everybody and say, I'm, I'm Roy Younger. I'm nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. you can't do that. <laughs> no. But what you can do is where you are. Control yeah. that narrative when you show up you're nice. When you show up, you're humble. Yeah. That is what you can control. Exactly. What people say after, I mean, after that, you can't. Yes. So I decided I'm just going to be the best version of me. You decide what you want to feel. That's beautiful. Mm. That's beautiful. I hope people have taken note of that because that goes beyond just the industry and that's a life lesson. You that know, has, it has what to you be can control, everything. you brand, you package, you present it as best you can and then you leave it to the people yes to do it's different from from like church because i grew up singing in church yeah it's definitely different. i'd have people come on stage and they can't sing but the whole church is like yay yeah, and they, you know and they not totally the talent, can't it's sing the anointing. but you know yes they're like no it's not about the voice it's they are grateful you know it's a feeling so here it's, it's different people yeah. judge every little yeah every, every little thing day. and you have no power to yeah. control that you, you don't no, they want to be it regardless yeah Anyway, as we know mm. that we get down, uh -huh. this next song <laughs> is for those dedicated to those who know how they get down. I like this song, man. I come from a background, Tom, Danny, leave me alone. That, uh, you know, this is how we used to get down, get down a bit. So I get a little bit sentimental about songs like this. Mm. So this next song, eh, it, either you know or you don't know. Should I introduce this song? Mm, you might Let not this have song to. introduce itself. Yeah. Show me, show me. Show me, hey. show me, show me, show me. Let's do this. I miss a song with your original, somebody my imitate. Somebody my imitate. Na na, song with your original, somebody my copycat. Somebody my copycat. I miss a song with your original, somebody my imitate. Somebody my imitate. Na na, song with your original, somebody my copycat. Somebody my copycat. Come and go to the woods, 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 go
Okay, cool. What was the inspiration behind Boom Party? Behind Boom Party, I think it was, uh, I started dating uh, Prince, the mm -hmm. man I'm with right uh -huh. now, four years ago. Uh -huh. So uh, in the very beginning of our relationship, you know how all relationships yeah. be, it's like both of you are like not sure what you want to do at that point of time. Yeah. So it's, it had been three years of us dating and I felt like, you know, we should get closer and try and dive deeper into what we're trying to do. Nice. So I, I wrote the song about that, like, let's just have a boom party. Boom party yeah. is like a party that you do at home yeah. and just put speakers around and invite nice. a few friends, like an intimate party between me and you. Nice. Yes. That's, that's what is the inspiration for boom that's party. That's a beautiful inspiration. <laughs> See, now, hopefully that clarifies a few things for a few people, you know, so you understand where we're coming from. Yo, shout out to uh, Team Cindy. I have yeah. to ask. How did you, like your street team, how did you put together such an incredible team like for that? Like the, how have you? Yes, for the, for the show you're in, or yeah, just yeah, I mean, Just in general, in general, your fans, man, they go hard. Like how did you build such a, you know so many artists, that's a thing for them, like building a loyal, committed team yes. that rides with you. Like so, over the years, you've probably had your ups and downs with that. Like how True. have you come to a place where you have a solid team? I've learned over the years that if you want to build a solid team, first of all, take money away. <laughs> That's the first thing, yeah. you know. When you take money away, a lot of people disappear. A mm. lot of negative energy leaves. A lot of people are not sure leave yeah. all those people. The people who stay up or who really, really want to work, yeah. they just like you. They're like, because that's all they have at that moment. Mm. So the first thing I did was like, we as Team Syndicate, we are not paying anybody. Okay. So if you stay, you stay. You yeah. don't want to stay, go. Yeah. A lot of people left, mm. you know, but I had a lot of people stay. Nice. So this people who stayed started sharing their experiences because it was about us and when we have a good time and, and small things. As an African, I've learned that no matter how modern we get, yeah. we are relationship people. True. If I, for example, right now, we yeah. finish doing this show and I'm like, oh, thank you for the show and give you 50K. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You go and blow it at Java's, you know, yeah. like... <laughs> Have so, lunch so. and it's done. Yeah. But if you had a problem, Ryonga, yeah. and, and I, somebody told me, go, no, no, Ryonga, yet I go yeah. You didn't tell me. Yeah. And that 10K at that moment yeah. is what you really need. And yes. I sent you that 10K. That's different. You treasure that more than yeah. the 50K I gave you just yeah. for just. Yes. So I realized that my fans are people who want such things. They want to have a birthday party and have Cindy show up. Mm. They want like such, so I would do such things like send you a sack of charcoal yeah. or send you airtime when, when you didn't ask. Yeah. Or just show up at a random party at yeah. your house. So I made it look like we're family and that's mm. the foundation of Team yeah. Syndicate. Yeah. So they started to grow slowly. Nothing about money. Yeah. Until later when there were avenues to make money for yeah. my team. I was like, okay, what you can do if you yeah. do this and do this, I'll give you this percentage, you make money. So the team got built that way. Wow. Same thing with my band, that's how we started. I was like, you nice. guys, there's no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting all this sound here and everything has taken all the money. So yeah. how much is it to take you home? They're like, hey, yeah. me 3K, me 5K, you know? Mm. And that's how much I'd give them and they'll go for two years. Yeah. My band worked for barely 20K less. Wow. But after two years, we made the name. I was like, yeah. Katerina Tulikoze, this next client, this is what's happening. That's when the money started coming in. That's powerful. Yeah, so I think the first thing you do if you want a strong team, Take money away. Take money away. Yes, That's, then you get real people. Yeah. And you start from there. Money changes people. Oh, it reveals, way. it hides it. It's, you know, I never used to understand thing that the Bible says that money is the root of all evil. You know that thing? <laughs> I never used to understand. I was like, so does God want us to be poor? You know? Yeah. But but it's money creates opportunities to do yeah, evil. It does. More than it it's creates the love to do of money good. That is definitely the love of money yeah, created yeah. creates more opportunities to do evil than yeah. to do good. Yeah. So money is a problem, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
control money. If you can situation. control money, yes, you can control your life, you control, control people you. around yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, deep. that's that's what I did. That's deep. We didn't teach you that in <laughs> Bible school. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> as Cindy, like. As you leave, as yeah. you leave us, and thank you so much. As in, this has been a vibe. Oh, this has me, been I've, beautiful. I've loved this. I'm yeah, glad please I come back again whenever you want. Yes. You know. But as you leave, what do you want people to know? Like to never forget about Cindy. What's the one thing you'd want? Like if it was a choice, like if you could choose right now and make sure that no one in the world will ever forget this mm, about mm. Cindy. What would it be? I think it's, it's the fact that I never stopped. Mm. I want people to remember that I never stopped. Respect. <laughs> yeah, no matter what. Because I know there's going to be people who are greater than me. There are yeah. going to be people who are going to achieve more. Mm. I believe a female will fill up uh, the stadium one day, you know, and yeah. just one female artist. I believe that. Yeah. But I just want, if you lose everything else, just remember that I never stopped. Yeah. You know, just that, that one thing. And people tell me so much that I've got people who ask me if I go to the Uganda Munyanja. I don't know what Those they call that. <laughs> they ask me a lot. Yeah, I had a I year imagine. in my life when they were like on my case, like we know, we know, we have proof that you do this, mm. you know. So I want people to know God is still powerful. He's the same. Mm. You know, he's still as powerful as he used to be Amen. in the Bible. Amen. And now he still speaks. Yeah. You know, to everybody, no matter which situation, yeah. you know. So uh, if you can remember that, I'm good. I will die well. <laughs> you heard it from the king herself, Cindy. Sandy, yeah. thank you so much Welcome. for joining us. Welcome. So and now, thank you, ladies. Hey, oh, shout out to you. Steph, the yeah. scratch. Shout out to the ladies. Thank you. you know? These ladies had to learn this today. Yeah, so like right now. So thank you. Big ups to the Thanks. ladies. Yeah. Everyone listening in and watching is clapping for you and cheering for you. Actually, one of them is going to do a song right now. Awesome. I'm yeah, going to stand yeah, yeah. You're going to stand Yes. Listen? Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Next up is... Uh, we switching? Okay. All right. Cool. There you go. Come on now. Felicity. Felicity with the one I can see.
take it my heart and I love you forever. 360 is the team. It is the team. All right, then. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Yeah. We got Star. We got Rhoda. We got Felicity. The king herself was in the building. I don't even know what to tell you. I got DJ Steph in the back. Shout out to all the cameramen. Just be 360. You know what I'm saying? And we do it like this. Hey. Oh, I just listen to it for the beat. I ain't even really hearing when you speak. I don't even know a homeboy saying. All I know is that beat bang. Okay, let it ride. Let it ride. Shout out, man. Tap it down. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. I'm trying to kill your vibe. Let it ride. Uh, I should probably give you something you can dance to. Uh, nope, sorry, wrong rap. But so you should flip the record the second you get a chance to. Cause I ain't checking out unless it's gonna advance you. We're dumbing down just to give you what to up your hands to. Uh, when your mind is in a free fall, I'd rather spit you with next to plan and a pepper shoot instead of lungs that you repeat and sound like a retard. We aiming for a different kind of special. I die line five, think of every line of spectrum. And every stick is dynamite, wicked with the pros. Even if it's stick with legitimate, it's still explosive. Make up your own dance moves to this. I refuse to water down just so I can move units. And you're claiming that the beat the only reason that you're vibing. All right, cool, do me out and let it out. Oh, I just listen to it for the beat. I ain't even listen when you speak. I don't even know what homeboy is saying. All I know is that beat to bang. Okay, let it ride. Yeah. Let it ride me. Front, back, to the side. Let it ride me. Let it ride me. Let it ride me. I ain't trying to kill you, but let it ride me. Yo, gone an ambassador to new. Spokesman for Africa, future, international black figure. Saran dipped in oil cup, rap slicker. Yeah, I'm saved now, Christ is my ad libber, and I'm still harder to serve in the bad tip. For my singles, make them see double, but I stack triple till I'm known to pull a hat trick quicker than Jack Tripper. Oh, Bas Bona Kamateka, and Karamaji, that's the son of Kamadeka. We used to ball out nowadays, that did it, and it's like I'm competitive. Hey, I keep it moving, no commotion, and even with my global accent, I'm still getting locomotion. While others are causing friction and corrosion, I guess I'm rubbing off on them quicker than coca lotion. Mwaura! Mwurire! Mwete gerise! Y'all hear me? But you will though! Hey! Mwaura! Hey! Hey! Mwurire! Mwete gerise! Ro, is Anko Twad and Quip Tower, if you send me Toma, how do you get the same? If you send my sin, did you come to say with the Indy or ever mind your own of my young Nick Kunda? It's a man, I own that, and you could never know that the Munachi Tara Rionga, the rapper singer from the land of the Longhorns and Tis. Some of him be money, one is a Zidic singer, where the scenery is a different story from the slopes of the Rift Valley to the peaks of the Renzo. From the land of pet names and Pacoya, where I talk it, I talk it to the land of milk and honey, I'm at the Nawati. Hey, <laughs> Hey, hey, I stepped out the plane like, hey, I'm too six cheap. Ask them about me, but who's so hate? But that you got a win, but that you name, but you got to rap again, but we eat on here. Need to be killed, to what is it? Now flows to keep chill, no need of a refill, do whatever we feel, keep it all the way real. Never still want me to be real, like I don't pride him over paying for the heat bill. I'm still the young, I shine it in on like a steroid hill. So I've been trying to tell me about a six on my hill, ho. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cindy, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's go. Wait a minute, wait a hour, wait a second, wait a minute. Ooh, wait a minute. Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you say? Do 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 say. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you say? Anyway, <laughs> all right, I hope you guys forgot about today. So that's the CD.
Kick yourself. Shout out to Abby, man. Big ups on the work. Big ups to Tabitha, Sam, Talent Africa Group Ali. We appreciate you. My name's Rionga, Felicity Star, Rhoda. Shout out to DJ Steph. Big up, Josh SB360. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>